My name is Tom Kiefer. I am an artist photographer. The project that I've been working on since 2007 is called El Sueño Americano, The American Dream. Ajo is about 40 miles from the Mexico border and 100 miles from the California border. So it's in the southwest corner of the state of Arizona. It's high desert, elevation of about 1800. It's very hot. It's blisteringly hot and deadly in the sense that if you're attempting to cross the desert, you're risking your life. So after living here for about a year and a half, I had to get some type of job to have some money come in. And in our local newspaper was this ad, part-time janitor at a U.S. Customs Border Patrol station. I ended up working there for 11 years. And it was about my fourth year working there that I started becoming kind of angry and upset seeing all the food that the migrants and asylum seekers brought with them, that, that food that was in their backpack, uh, that was just being thrown away. So one day I mustered up the courage, went to the supervisor on duty and I said, hey, can I bring this food to the food bank? And his exact words to me were, bless you. When I went in to retrieve the food, I would see a Bible, a rosary, a group of photographs, family photographs, wallets with identification still inside the wallets, deeply personal belongings. And it wasn't right. I mean, these items were being taken away from the people that are apprehended and just callously thrown in the trash. It was not right to let them go to the landfill and it was probably within a year, I kind of accepted the fact that I was an artist, a photographer, and that these items needed to be photographed. I took a bunch of black combs and brushes and placed them on a black background, just set it up and took a shot and I was kind of amazed by, wow, this is kind of the way forward. And so I resigned on August 11, 2014, so I could work on this full time. So the way that I photographed these personal belongings is I come from a place of deep, respect and care and I want the person looking at the photograph to think about what they're seeing and not how I've constructed the photograph. The items that people selected to bring with them, I mean there's the very limited space in their backpack so their great thought would go into what they would bring along with them. You know, something that had a personal meaning to them. You know, little toys that a child would carry with them, or perhaps the parent is bringing with them an item that they could remember their child from. I mean, I'd find cologne. My first reaction was like, this is kind of silly. I thought that this person wasn't taking this journey crossing the desert seriously. Like, why would you bring a bottle of cologne? So in talking with other people, it became apparent this bottle of cologne represented a future. You know, whether they were going to be seeing a loved one that they hadn't seen in months or years, getting ready for their first job interview. So putting their best foot forward. I found this small notebook. It was a diary. And this person was professing their love to Blanca and how they were mesmerized, hypnotized 
by the beauty of her eyes. I mean, I would even find little notebooks and kind of like a, a last will and testament, like, God, please give us hope on our journey, and that myself and my three fellow travelers make it safely to the U.S. I mean, people have no idea. They're shocked. You know, they ask me, why would a rosary be taken away? Or why would they take away a Bible? Why would they take away a woman's birth control pills? So it's been a very educational experience for people seeing this. What this is about is to foster a dialogue. You know, have a very frank and honest conversation about, is this how we want to treat the most vulnerable? This is not limited just to the people entering, crossing the border. We're talking about the 10 million plus people living in fear of ICE knocking on their door and taking away mom or dad and leaving behind the children, what will become of them? You know, is this how we want to be as a nation? Is this how we want to treat people?